Good morning, everyone. I am back again. Let me just get this all happening up online here. Right. Why am I... What's going on with that flutter this morning? All right. How are we all this morning? Welcome, welcome. Sorry, I was running a little behind this morning on my uh, organisational skills here and just doing a quick setup and a little bit of fussy cutting. Let me just turn the comments on. Oops, not that, not that button. Good morning, Joanne. How are you? All right, so welcome to day two of the Great Australian Craft Show. Great International Craft Show, actually. We are international now. Um, and today I am going, we've got Lindy's on special today. Morning, Geraldine. Morning, Elizabeth. Um, we have got Lindy's on special. So each day I do a brand new special and we... What is going on with that flicker? I'm sorry that there's a bit of a flicker with the lights this morning. Let's see what's going on here. That's a bit frustrating. Yep, nope, still there. Oh, I know, it's because I've got a white background. Bugger. But I do need the white background, so we just might have to put up with it for today. Darn. Okay, anyway, so um, as part of the show, what I do every day is a brand new special. So I have got on special today, Lindy's Gang products. So Lindy's Gang products are magicals, sprays and shakers in sets and all sorts of different things. So uh, what is also on special online at nataliemay.com.au is, um, <laughs> morning ladies, um, is paper packs and collections are 15% off. Stamps and stencils are 15% off. The, um, what else we got? Dies are also 15% off and they're automatically calculated at the checkout. So you will get a, um, yeah, you'll get a, a great discount for the entire weekend. But today only, it's about Lindy's. So what I'm going to be doing as the Australian Master Educator, for Lindy's Gang, I am going to be showing you um, a couple of things today we can do with um, one stamp and some Lindy's. Okay, one stamp, multiple ways, creating a background, color coloring some stamped images and, um, you know, creating a bit of fun. So uh, for those of you who haven't seen me do a live before, strap yourselves in. Uh, because I am going to just create up a storm and do a little bit of waffling on as well. But um, I have got lots to show you. So the specials are available on nataliemay.com.au and um, today and tomorrow only. Uh, if you're not part of the Natalie May Scrapbooking Creative Community on Facebook, jump on board now head over and um, request to join the group this is where we put all sorts of bits and pieces we share the love we i jump on every now and again and do some little demos we do all sorts of things for you guys if you are on instagram social media uh follow me happy dax uh nat hashtag natalie may scrapbooking uh and you'll find some information there all right so let me tell you about Lindy's Gang products. Um, what I have in the background here is a puppy training pad. Don't mock it. It's going to soak up all the liquid on the mess that I'm about to make. So Lindy's Gang products have been around for a really, really long time. Um, a couple of weeks ago on our private Facebook group, the Natalie May Scrapbooking Community, I did a three-hour demo an information session all about Lindy's, okay? So you can find out all about Lindy's there in a really comprehensive um, little mini class. 
but let me give you the abbreviated version. So these are called magicals. Magicals are a pigment dye based powder, which means the pigment means it's all about the color. The dye means it has a great permanency to it. And the powder means that we need to activate it to get the magic to happen. These three things here are all different, but they are the same. So this here is a, these two items here are the magicals in the little pots. This one says it is a flat magical, which it has no shimmer. This one is uh, the standard magical, which are the um, starburst magicals, and that has a shimmer to it. So how do you tell which is which? Well, actually side on, you can tell, you can tell that that one's got a bit of a shimmer to it and you can tell that that one doesn't, okay? This product here, this is the Magical Shaker. This is exactly the same product as this in a different container. The shakers at the moment all have a shimmer to them. And this color is written on the side here called Guten Tag Teal, all right? So the really cool thing is you can mix them with everything. The shakers and the pots, like I said, do the same thing, but being a powder, you just need to activate the product. So I have been using Lindy's products for years and years and years, and you've seen me bang on about them. I think I've been a Lindy's ambassador since 2000 and, I don't know. 14? 14, Jessica reckons? I don't know. Anyway, so, um. So it's a really awesome product. So the only thing this is not designed to do is not designed to go into a water spray bottle because it will clog up the nozzle. Um, you can buy sprays as single products and I'll be talking about those in some of the other um, live Facebooks today. All right, so let's do something with these guys. Let's create a couple of simple backgrounds. The shakers are really fun and really easy. You'll see that I've got a bit of a white mark on the top here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the shaker side, which is the bit with the holes in it. And I'm going to shake it onto my project. The other side here is the, is the big scoopy side. I don't want to be using the big scoopy side. I want to be using the shaker side. So I just give it a shake first to fluff, it, fluff that powder up a bit. And I'm just, I've got some watercolor paper. So this is a 300 GSM watercolor paper, which means that it's got a nice weight to it. And I've just sprinkled a little onto here, onto my paper. And now I'm going to use my fancy Adelaide water to activate that powder. And this is where everything turns awesome. All right. When I spray, I get right on top of it. Whoops, I'm just going to spray the back a bit so the paper doesn't curl. There we go. And the more I activate, the more water I add, the more the pigments come together. You can see that. So I didn't put any yellow on it, but there's a little yellow. All right, I'm just quickly going to add another colour and I'm going to add some purple. So this is French Lilac Violet. How do I, how do I get that onto there if I don't have a shaker? Well, I'm going to use a dry paintbrush. So I'm just going to use a dry paintbrush because what happens is it just grabs onto the bristles of the dry paintbrush there. And now I'm just going to lightly tap onto there and I put the lid back on straight away because if I accidentally uh, drop that on the carpet, it's not ideal. Um, so let me show you. How good is that? What I'm going to do is I need to activate that powder though. Otherwise, it's going to brush off when it's dry. So I'm just going to add some water to bring those pigments together. Like I said, the more water you add, the more the pigments come together. This big blotch here, I need to add a little bit more water to that. Um, hey, Jessica, can you come here for me, please, and lay out a puppy training pad on the floor next to me so I can put them down on the floor to dry? Thank you. So that is on watercolour paper. Um, what I like about the watercolour paper is that the, it allows the water to, um, to move around a bit and I can continue to, to work on it, okay? So, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to pop it down on the ground next to me to dry. 
and I'm going to do another one for you. So I'll do one on just a plain cardstock this time. Hello, Desiree. Welcome, my love. Oh, seeing everybody's popping in to say hi. Uh, okay, so this time I want to use... I've got a, a, a great range of colours here next to me. Of course, I've been collecting all of the colours. This one here is called Black Forest Black. Black Forest Black is one of my favourites. Before I start, I'm going to spray my card and flip it over, and that helps prevent the curl. So this is just plain cardstock, and this is... Black Forest Black. And I'm going to bring it up to camera to do this because you're going to love it. Right, you're watching. I might just turn the light up a little because your mind is going to be blown. Because black is not a colour, what happens is black is made up of lots of different colours. So here's the black being activated. Can you see all those awesome colours in there? Loving it. Let's turn that light back down to get rid of that flicker. Um, and I'm just going to pop that aside to dry right now. Okay, so you can see that those colours are all separated because black's not a colour. Flaming brilliant, I tell you. Okay. Putting down to dry. Um so many really cool things that you can do with magicals uh like i said you can you can you're really only limited by your imagination um the these little pots here come in sets jessica's going to go and grab one for me louise is uh, having a day off i worked her too hard yesterday so i've got jessica doing all my running around for me today um but the 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 little pots here come in sets and they are excellent value for money so for example you buy a set called this one is Nanika's Outer Space um, and they all have an awesome theme to them as well so you've got one two three four five and Jessica's going to tell me the price of that uh, magical set, 25 .50 today. today they are down to $25.50 so um, they are brilliant value for money so I've just sprinkled a little bit of Wild Rose Rouge onto that. And this one has no shimmer to it, okay? So this is a really lovely, bold, vibrant, back, like a, a bold, vibrant pink. Uh, I want to add another colour to it as well. So I'm going to add Fox... Don't put that up there, darling. My arms aren't that long. I can't reach that up there. Thank you. Um, I'm going to add another pink to it. And again, it's about being smart with the colours that you mix together to create these awesome backgrounds. Okay, so sprinkle the sprinkle it on and now I have to activate it to get all of those pigments to come together. All right, so I'm going to pop that one aside to dry. So I just want to make a couple of different backgrounds here. And then what I'm going to do in a moment is we're going to colour some butterflies to get uh, to, to create something really awesome and make some quick and easy cards. Um, all right, how about some navy blue? So this is Bavarian blue. They've got the coolest names. And I'm just going to sprinkle it on. Now, it doesn't matter if you sprinkle first and uh, add water after doesn't really matter what which way you do it as long as you activate the powder so I'm going to mix with this a little bit of magenta and now I'm going to activate it so of course the blue is a strong color and it's a lot more powerful than the magenta so I need to add a little bit more magenta a little bit more purple um, all right, here's a bit more. So I've got one here called Prima Donna Purple, and that is part of the Drop Dead Diva set, and it is a super shimmery set. And this is a gorgeous, gorgeous colour. So buying them in sets is great value for money. The shakers come as individuals. Um, they normally retail for around $8 each, but today the shakers come down to $7.23 each. A shaker should last you, the average crafter, 
about two years if you don't spill it on the carpet. Um, yeah. Thanks, Gaylene. Um, so something else I like to do with these, I like to transfer my colour. Squish it. Yeah, check that out. All right, pop that aside to dry. Just going to soak off that, drip off that excess water and pop it aside to dry. And I might quickly do something in a bit brighter, something like a yellow perhaps. Uh, so I'm just going to spray the back, drop it down. So like I said, I'm just spraying the back because I want to stop the paper curling, okay? So this colour is called Grab a Guy Gold. And of course, yellow being a much lighter colour, ooh, I love that, uh, is going to look totally different. And I'm going to mix that with California Poppy Gold. So there's about 28 colours in the shakers. So of course you have to have all of them. Uh, <laughs> and the, the shakers, like I said, they've got that shaker top that work really, really well. Um, can you see how you get those little spots of colour like here? So I'm just going to add some more water, bring them all together, move that water around to create a wash. And it is done. Righty oh. So you can create some awesome backgrounds. Straight straight out of that, just just you know, I hope I didn't make it look too hard because I can tell you right now, it's not tricky at all. I have um a little while ago, well, earlier this month, I did a card class here in Adelaide. Um I don't do card classes online, I only do them um, here in person, but in saying that, there's no reason why I couldn't do them online. Let me think about that a bit more. Um, but this is the card class that we did here in Adelaide. We used the darkroom door stamp that Jessica's got a price up for me. This is the darkroom door stamp here. It's called Spread Your Wings, and it comes with all of these stamps in it. Uh, love that. $32. $32. Sorry, Jess? $32.01. With a discount. 32 bucks um, and so they're a great little stamp set and we in the class we did this with distress oxides um, it's like a coloring card class so we painted ours with distress inks a few different backgrounds uh, and I, I just want to show you today how to how to create these cards with magicals so I have pre colored oh sorry pre stamped a few images so how do I get the colour out of these pots into something that I can paint with? I use one of these paint palettes, okay? Um, guys, I might just quickly fold up this white background here just because that flicker is annoying me more than it's probably annoying you. Um, bear with me just a second. And, whoops, got a bit of water out of the way there. This is where the puppy training pad comes in handy. See how it's caught all that water? Very handy little thing. Um, Jess, could you please grab me a piece of the roll of brown paper and just rip me off a piece that I can cover up my yesterday's dirt with? Um, so what I want to do is I want to colour my butterflies to suit my project, right? So I'm going to take some of my magicals top shelf Jess and I'm going to use my Nouveau spoon I like this little Nouveau spoon and I like this because I can take out a small amount like I'm talking a super small amount here and I can pop it into my palette so these palettes are a must-have when you are creating could you get a bigger piece love no because that's the end of the roll um, Oh, look at that. There we go. Sorry, guys. He's half that size. Would have been perfect. All right. So what I'm going to do is go with... 
put a couple of colors in my palette that I can then activate and paint with. So I have got here some high maintenance magenta, prima donna purple. So these here, yeah, like, like I said, the little spoon, a small amount, a little bit goes a really, really long way because it is a high pigment powder, all right? So let me just grab a couple of other colors. So I'm grabbing our Outer Space Aqua. And a little bit into there. And in a moment, I'm going to... Oops. What have we got here? Tibetan Poppy Teal. Oh, that's my go-to colour. So the other really cool thing about doing it like this is you have the advantage of being able to control how much powder you put into here and how, how intense your colour's going to be. So I'm just going to pop a little bit of the shaker in there and I'm just going to tap, tap, tap. And in a minute, you'll see how awesome these look. Just grabbing a green. Let's go for... And the colours that I'm choosing here, I'm just... You, I'm, I'm being a little bit strategic. I'm having a little bit of a think about colours that are going to work together if I was to blend them. I am going to be doing some little baby butterflies. Uh, what do I want over here? Hang on. I need a yellow. Where's my yellow? Oh, there's a red. Okay, red's great. Red is like super pigmented. So you don't need very much red at all. Just as I tip in a heap of red. Um, a little bit of orange. And where's that yellow? Where's that yellow? So I have pre-stamped my images using black archival ink. So my black, black, of course, you have to use black archival ink because if you were to use a water-based ink and we are adding water to it, then what's going to happen is that's going to run, isn't it? We're going to lose the integrity of our image and it's not going to look super awesome because the ink is going to run. So what we have to do is make sure we are using a water soluble ink. How do you know if you have, if your ink is water soluble? Stamp an image and run a wet paintbrush over it. You're going to notice straight away whether or not your images are, are waterproof. Um, so what I'm going to do now, I have a little pipette here. And I've got some water and I'm going to activate that. This is where the awesome starts to happen, okay? I'm not squirting it in too much, otherwise it just disappears out the other side. Bit of green. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to test these colours. I always test before I add them to my project, okay? I never put anything on my page without testing how intense that color is first. Like I said, because I'm, I'm playing with the powder here and I can activate it to, to suit what I want, I have that ability to be able to test, uh, to be able to make it stronger if I need to. Um, all right, let's get me a paintbrush and a piece of paper towel handy and let's have a bit of a play here so when i put them in here i give it a little bit of a stir with my brush and you can see how intense that color is and i will bring them all up super close to the camera in a minute so i can work around my palette give it a little stir so that has now been activated the really cool thing about this is, is you can activate it with anything. So you could mix these with water, like I'm doing now. You can mix these with 
hand sanitizer to make it kind of like an alcohol ink that you can paint on different surfaces. You can activate them with white paint to make a, a new color in paint. You can mix it with modeling paste so that you can make your own tinted modeling paste. You don't need to go and buy something super fancy and pay a, a price through the roof for a colored modeling paste. You can add you can add it to anything you like. You can add it to gel medium to make like a transparent sort of gel. There's so many things. Okay, so this purple could be a bit darker because it's very similar to the pink. Oh, and that teal. I don't have enough pigment in that one. And finally, Tibetan Poppy Teal, which is my favourite. I know that's going to look gorgeous. So I can see that this colour here is really, really light. Um, I have the control. I have the power to add some more powder to that. Okay, so straight in to make my colour more intense because, of course, the amount of water means that it is going to dilute a little bit more. All right, let's have another go. Oh, yeah, much, much better. So that is what I got from a little bit of all of those powders, all right? Good oh. And that's what I'm going to use to colour my butterflies. So I'm going to colour some butterflies. Now, this is just plain cardstock, nothing fancy. Jessica has very graciously cut these out for me this morning. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to paint my butterflies super quick and easy. Um, now, like I said, I'm not working with watercolour paper here. This is just plain cardstock. So I need to be aware of how quickly it is drying. Um, so like I said, this is the darkroom door butterfly call, a uh, butterfly stamp called Spread Your Wings. That one is, that's the stamp there. And a beautiful stamp. Very, very versatile for those of you who like butterflies. Um, the pink fresh butterflies that I showed on camera a little bit earlier, they will look amazing doing this. Um, I'm just going to pop a little bit of this navy blue in here. And then I'm just going to blend it out with my brush. Can add some more green again and I can layer. So because this is a pigment dye based powder that we are using, of course, what is happening is the the dye makes it, you know, stain the paper, okay? So it has a permanency to it that a lot of other products on the market just don't have. Um, the question is quite often asked to me, why is this product different to all the rest? And that is because it is it has that permanency to it that the other products just don't have. Okay, what I'm going to do, I want to do a card with three, do I want to do a card with three butterflies? I don't know. Um, yeah, so it has a permanency that the other products don't have. This is not a watercolour powder. What makes this look like watercolours is the fact that I am using water to activate it this time. But if I was to use something else like, um, like I said before, alcohol ink, then of course it's going to look totally different. Um, I can activate it using just about anything. You're only limited by your imagination. Catchphrase, catchphrase of the day, okay? You can blend the colours together. You can create your own colours. But it is completely up to you. Missed a bit there. Completely up to you because you've got the control as to how intense that colour is. So I'm just going to pop that one aside. So this particular card that I'm going to work on, uh, these all these butterflies on here will be all in these warm shades. So I'm going for some red on the tips. So red is super strong, so I'm going with less is best with the red, but I'm going to mix it with some orange as well and I'm working quick so I don't get any brush strokes 
because it's not watercolor paper and it's soaking in quite quickly. So like I said before, the watercolor paper is going to um, enable you to move it around a little bit longer, but like not, not watercolor paper here. This is the um, plain cardstock. So it's, it's a lot more porous than what watercolor paper is. The watercolor paper that I sell in the shop is my absolute favorite paper. It is a 300 GSM um, Express Graphics is, is the brand. I have a couple of different brands in the, in the shop, but the Express Graphics one is my favorite. Um, and I think I sell it in sh like a, a pack of 25, A4, and trim them down from there. It is definitely my favorite paper in the whole wide world. And anyone who's done a class with me around Australia, um, you can, I've always used that paper. Um, Dana's just asked the question online, does it mean that I can add it to gesso to make a paint color? Absolutely. It means you certainly can. You can add it to white paint to make a paint color. You can add it to gel medium to make a translucent gel of a similar color. You, you can do so much with them. Um, definitely. You tend to end up with more pastel type colors when you make your own paints because what happens is you will... Missed a bit there. What happens is the white pigment will blend. I didn't show you that one. We'll make it a little bit more opaque. Um, all right, so I've got three there. I'm going to do another big butterfly. What colour shall we do this big one in? I did the green one before. I know you all want to see me do the purple one. Uh, I'll start with the pink first because that is much lighter. And then I'm going to put the purple on the tips. So those colours are a little close together. I was going to change that up a bit, wasn't I? And then I changed my mind. I'm going to mix this with a little bit of blue. Because blue and purple are next to each other on the colour wheel, they are going to blend quite nicely. Bam, look at that. That's so pretty. All right. I'll do the other wing. Bit of purple next. That blue on the tips. Um, Dana, did that answer your question, love? Oops, a bit too much blue on that. Not a very balanced wing. Um, now, the other question that I quite often get with this is, can I use it on fabric? Um, hey, Jessica, could you pull me off a length of that seam binding ribbon, please? Um, commonly known as crinkle ribbon. I will show you all in a moment how to do that. I just want to make my um, the tips of my wings just a little bit darker and bring that in for balance. But that's looking pretty nice. Popping aside to dry. And then I'm going to do something, I'm going to do a little something a little bit arty farty. And I'm going to, um, I, I saw this next idea on um, the Darkroom Door website, one of their designers did, and they did a different colour butterfly for each, uh, like lots of different butterflies for Colours of the Rainbow. So I can just go straight on like this, and I'm going to leave the tips of it in white. So I'm going to do yellow. I'm going to work around that rainbow colour wheel, just like my sleeves of my jumper today. One, two, three. So as a Lindy's ambassador and educator, it's up to me to show you guys how to use this stuff. Oh, look, I've just ended up colouring all of that in. Red gets me every time. It is so gorgeous and so pigmented. Look, okay, I've now just gone to plain colours. Uh, 
Um, so yeah, it's up to me to educate you, to show you how to use these things all of the time. So if you have any questions about Lindy's, you can always send me a message and I am more than happy to answer all of your questions. Um, like I said, the only thing it's really not designed to do is to go into a water spray bottle. Um, it has a fantastic binder in it that binds the colour to your paper. And what makes that work is... I want that one on the top. Um, what makes it work is, uh, is, is that binder. So that being said, it's going to clog up the nozzle of your spray bottle. So Lindy's also do sprays as well. So you'll have to pop back a little bit later today to see me using those colours. Now I want to add, I want a deeper purple than this here. So I have got here a couple of more purples that I'm just going to no oh I know I have a purple shaker where's the purple shaker here we go I'm going to add some of this purple shaker to that color and make my own color because I can do that because I have the power oh can you see how oh that's super super purple I've just made my own new colour. Look at that. And we need blue. And then we need green. What do we got here? Green. Um, green. And last but not least, we need that blue. All right. And look at that, I forgot, I cut the end off the bottom of that one there. I don't quite know what I was thinking. All right, so I can see here that my green needs to be a little bit more intense. So I'm going to pop that other green over the top. Righty, oh. So, seam binding. Let's talk about crinkle ribbon while they're just sitting here drying. Seam binding is something that you can get from me from dollar a meter and it is commonly known as crinkle ribbon so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to wrap it around my finger and then i'm going to drop it into here and push it in and i can now color my own ribbon and i was really not going to try and trash my hands today but you know it's going to happen um, and now I'm just going to dip it a little in some Tibetan poppy teal. What I then like to do next is drop it, put it into here and squish it up. And it just takes out any extra um, liquid. Unfold my paper towel. Now, because like I said before, it is a dye-based powder, you can dye your hands quite well, but your hands will come clean. It is, um, it's, you know, it's, you're not tattooing your arm. You're just going to end up with dirty hands, as long as you're not, you know, doing surgery. So now while that's all crinkled up in a ball like that, I can dry it off. And there you go, there's my crinkle ribbon that I can add to my card, my project, my mini album, anything I like, okay? So you can colour your own, and it's permanent, I can wash that. As long as it's dried, I can wash this and it's permanent because it has a dye-based powder, okay, on it. And that's what we've used, the dye element. So if you lean over the table and you're wearing a white t-shirt and you dip your boobs in it, you're going to leave a permanent mark on your boobs, straight up. Okay, so I'm just gonna make sure all of these are dry. Hey Jess, can you come and grab this palette for me please so that I don't dip my jumper in it and just pop it on that table over there for me without knocking it. Yes. I also don't wanna Thank get you. my arms in it. And don't drip your arms in it, no.
All right. Oh, look at that beautiful color. I always dry on both sides. Just one of those things because the paper is wet, it's gone all the way through. These little ones won't matter so much. And now, these ones that I had on the floor here, look at that color. And I don't know if you can see that shimmer coming up, but it's super pretty. Dry that one. There's another one. So the, the magicals in the water will react differently on different papers. It is, you get so many different effects. Um, everyone has their favorite things to, to do with them. Uh, mine is this plain card stock that I make cards out of, uh, available in the shop as well. Um, and I love watercolor paper. It's as simple as that. I think that that works really, really well for what I like to use it for. It is a messy sport. If you're going to do it with kids, you do need to be aware that it, it, it can be a little bit messy and unforgiving. The hot tip is don't dress your kids in white while you're doing it, okay? Because then it goes real bad. Um, choosing the colors that you sprinkle onto your page together to make it work. That's also something that is going to make a big difference as well. Back on about that color wheel. Print yourself off a color wheel. And when you're doing something like this and you're mixing things that are wet, you need to make sure that you are mixing colors that are alongside each other on the color wheel. That's what's going to make it visually pleasing because that's what we're striving for. We're striving for something that looks visually pleasing, okay? How am I going for time? All right. So I'm quickly going to put these cards together and then what happens at the end of this video is I will photograph all the cards and um, in a separate post and pop a little link to all the products that I have used today so you can easily find them. But the, all the Magicals are on special for, at 15% off uh, this weekend. Oh, sorry, today only. Today, today. This is a Saturday special. Um, the next class I'm going to do at 1.30 is I'm going to do a scrapbook layout using Stencil Girl and Lindy's. So you will be able to come back and watch me do that. All right, so I have got some... Six by, this is just a six by four card front. Uh, I'm going to, I, I usually trim them down and mat them on something after. Uh, today I'm gonna use the glaze and glue from Spellbinders because it's what I just picked up and put my hand on. Uh, I'm gonna work from the top down with these butterflies. So this glaze and glue is awesome. It will work to It'll work to, um, to make your elements shiny like glossy accents or dimensional magic and work as a adhesive as well. Bit of red. And it just takes a second for the glue to catch. You could put the butterflies a little bit further apart if you wanted. Uh, purple next. And blue. So I will trim. Oh, yeah, there we go. I will trim these down. This card down and pop a sentiment on it as well. I will do that off camera before I photograph it. Oh, wow. And there we go. Wow. Pretty. All right. 
super cute. Here's one I prepared earlier. So this one is done with um, watercolors and I've left the tips white. Okay, very, very cool, very, very easy. Like I said before, not my idea. It came from Darkroom Door. They did that on their website and I jumped and went, yes, I need to have that in my life. And then these are my backgrounds. One, let's just put them this way so that you can see them all. One, two, three, four. And I've got two very similar here because they're the ones that I smooshed. And let's have a look at the colors that I did my butterflies in. And let's see what what stands out. I don't quite know what I'm gonna do here. I don't know what sort of, oh, I think I definitely need to do that on the black. That would look good on there. Kind of gets a bit lost on that one. That doesn't look bad on there. That looks great on there. Actually, that's not bad on the purple. So this is how I, I kind of, you know, how I like to create it. I, I move the things around. You can see that it gets lost on the black, so I don't want to put it on the black. Stands out pretty awesome on the pink because they're colours that are opposite and they're contrasting colours. Uh, that looks great on there. So let's pop that aside. Let's pop that aside. Let's pop that aside. And I'm going to trim that down with my trimmer that I put somewhere safe. Oh. What have I done with it? I don't know. Found it. <laughs> Okay, so before I mount this one, I'm just gonna trim a little off to bring it back down so then I can, down just down in size so I can mount it on a another piece of plain white to give it a pop. Still too fat. So I do love my little crafter's companion trimmer. I think that it is an excellent size for my desk so I will tape that onto there pop that in the middle like that so I'll finish that one off on camera in a moment okay so same thing with this one I'm going to take some off the sides using my trimmer and I am one of those people that just oops tends to eyeball things and just say yep that's the perfect amount to cut off because I'm making something that's handmade so I tend to not bust my neck over over how um, about my measurements because I'm not a perfectionist Perfect. So this one I want white at the top and bottom and I'm going to pop that in the middle like that and pop a sentiment on it. And then lastly, these three butterflies here, I'm going to trim that one down. Do exactly the same thing and do a strip. And then I'm gonna put these three butterflies, one, two, three, like that. So there you go, guys. That's it from me for this morning. I have made one, two, three, four cards using Lindy's Magicals in my background. I have stamped and colored my images using the magicals as well uh, it is a really fun easy technique it actually took me longer to cut the butterflies out than it did to do that the butterfly stamp that I use is a dark room door stamp it is a excellent value for money stamp because it is not only is it an Australian made company 
um, but they are a gorgeous red rubber stamp, so I still have some of those in stock. Um, the ink I used, Black Archival ink in the new black soot to stamp my images, and I did use a stamp press. Um, so what I'm going to do shortly is finish these cards off, post them uh, in a post on the next post so you'll be able to see them with a link to the products. Oh, and we did the ribbon. Where's the ribbon gone? Here we go. Seam binding, only a dollar a meter, and you can color it to be whatever you like. You can make your own crinkle ribbon. Um, and I did that just by dipping it in the Lindy. So heaps and heaps of things for you to do. So I will be back here at 1.30 to create a scrapbook layout using Stencil Girl, some pink fresh gems and some Lindy sprays. Maybe sprays, maybe magicals. I'll see how I go. Um, so I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Jump online to nataliemay.com.au and join also the Natalie May Scrapbooking Creative Community, which is a private group. And I also did, a, like I said, a big three-hour live Facebook a little while ago showing you how to use Lindy's as well. So um, I hope you all have a fabulous day. Kiss your kids, wash your hands, and I'll see you in a couple of hours.